So in this video, guys, every CL550 owner or every CL owner needs to know. This is all basic stuff. This is the 101 for the person potentially looking to buy a CL. Disclaimer is, I don't know everything about this car. I'm just reviewing it from a personality of me having a car for four years and to my liking. Let's go. My views only. And one more one more thing guys that you should know is that this car from in 2008 was a joint merger with Chrysler, Daimler Chrysler. So if you see Chrysler on your vehicle, don't freak out. It's not a freaking Chrysler. You still have a Mercedes. They just bond it for some parts. And to be honest, that's what I don't like. It's just oh, oh that's I, I don't like that merger. I I don't like it. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's 3D the Rap Star, aka is the Benz Man. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram at is the Benz Man. That's I T S T H E B E N Z M A N. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the basics. Every CL owner must know this, guys. A lot of my audience or a lot of my subs is the potential CL buyer that either has one or is in the market looking for one. So today I'm gonna go over some stuff that if you have one or if you are looking to get one that you should know already about this car. Some of the common stuff, some of the features cause I never actually did a review on this car. I'm sorry guys if it looks oversaturated on video it's because of the pearl white in the car every time the sun hits it it always gives off like this blurry like look like just look at this guys watch watch where the sun is so the sun right now is right here so look how it looks it just it looks unreal like and that's the satin pearl in it so don't freak out guys when it all when it looks like that i noticed when, when i got the car white it started doing that a lot see you look at the bottom right there see as i walk out from it it's clear it's clear but then look at the front right in there that's just due to the satin pearl white reflecting off of the sun and so with no further ado guys you know what we gotta do let's get some angles so man let me get some of the basics out the way so a lot of people say you know in the comments not a lot of people but i just i do want to address some of the comments because i do try to write back to everybody so also guys if i don't write back to you um it doesn't mean i don't see it i do see it sometimes it's just not a comment to write back hey i love your car you know i'll give it a heart or i could say thanks you know but still it's still just something extra that i could do and a lot of people say, oh, you sound hype. You sound like a little 11-year-old. Of course, look at this thing. I am basically an 11-year-old when it comes like a kid in a candy store when it comes to this. Oh, when it comes to this, I'm like a, I'm just like a giant kid. All those that have been rocking with me all this time, you know, thank you, man. I'm approaching 4,000 subs you know it's big to me it may not be nothing to nobody else so just showing this beauty right here there are a lot of people say oh why the red rims the red rims is because I had chrome rims all my life I had black wheels all my life wanted to do something different I may in a year take these off and I may go with the and I may go with the brush finish one of my subs also said hey you know, you could do you could do a brush. Brush might look good on here, maybe with the with the face wrapped in black. Tell me what y'all think about that. And another thing, guys, thanks for the following on Instagram. Guys, don't get mad if some accounts I do follow you, but I unfollow you back. I'm not an account user like that. I only do that when I say 
okay this you if you don't upload in a long time and i do follow you sometimes i'll unfollow you because either you're not posting car related content or nothing for the business it's nothing personal i love all you guys the same i even go to you guys page sometime to see if you got a mercedes like the pictures talk to people you know one of my favorites you know shout out amg dave that's one of my favorite guys on instagram and castro 215 those are some of my favorites we can go on probably all day about cls we could probably talk about why they switched the fog lights from here to the you know the laser cut which i do like the laser cut actually better than those but on the back i actually prefer this right here than the reverse light right here on the 11 or on the updated one but it's all preference i will actually take a updated one because it's a newer model car I actually been borderline thinking about a CL63, guys. Borderline. I love the 550, though, because it's more of a daily, and I like to, you know, not use it daily, but I like to know that I could use it more. Let's talk about this car. All right, so every CL owner must know this. That's what I titled this, guys, because I'm going to tell you some stuff about me having the car for years and some stuff that might help you along in your journey, maybe some stuff you didn't know. So basically 22 inch rims fit perfectly with clearance full turn also You know how they always say full u-turn when they have the big rims. That's actually funny to me, but You see the bar is in there. I don't know if you guys could see it. There it is But it's more than enough clearance room guys and that's natural. That's a perfect fit a lot of people You know always ask me what size are your tires? What size are their wheels? Here they are guys the front is 245 30 22 in the back, it's a 295-25-22, which I think next time I'm going to go with a 295-30, I think, 22. Next time. So that's a little bit first, guys. The 22s fit natural. Natural cut. You don't need to do anything to them. The trunk. If your key is in your pocket, you just walk up to the trunk. There's a latch that's right under here. You just press it and the trunk opens. Now to close the trunk, same thing, but it's not right there. What I love about this trunk, guys, if you, you always can put your hand, guys, a hand space. A lot of cars do not have this, so you can easily just, you know, wiggle right there. You got wiggle room. Basically to close it, guys, so say you come up to the car, but it's locked. You can still open it like that. And the feature I like, the car isn't locked, so I'm going to lock the car to show you guys. Alright, so I locked the car. So say you just came to the trunk real quick because you forgot something, you forgot some groceries. So now you're walking back. You don't need to lock the car again, it's self-locked. You just press that one. And it locks. So remember guys, this is all basic stuff. Every CL owner must know this because it's basic, you know. Whether you have the car or you just get in the car. And so to unlock the car, you know, everyone should know this with the key in the pocket. It's just a simple, let's lock it first. It's just a simple hand behind, activate it. As soon as you pull it, your mirror's open too. Don't forget, you have the self-closing door. So say if you forget to close it, this is one of my favorite things I love on this car is this aluminum frame right here. It gives the car that rich profile when you open the door. I love that right there. So... You close and say you forget to close it all the way. The self mechanism closes it for you. All the windows are fully automatic. So if, if you can see, they all go down all the way and will give you that clear profile right here. That clear pillarless frame. This is one of the reasons why I even bought this car, guys. I love this this frame. This no wind. It feels like you're driving in a drop top every day when you roll it down. Just Look at the clean cut line it bring to you. Love that. And so the first CL that really hit this market with this body out here in North America was the 2007 model year. I didn't get the 2007 model year because I don't really like the first year production of a car whereas they get the little nicks and crannies out the car, what was wrong with it. So I got the eight model. So I love the eight model. I love the eight 
and you know 10 is when they started making minor changes before the 2011 the facelift version came out so two had a 2010 had the revised mirrors right here on the 10 if you were wondering same body style they just start doing little minor changes like the mirrors in 11 that's when they went with the whole different shape so guys that's how you could tell i got the older body the 11 has the laser cut leds right here and as i mentioned earlier on the 11 they also have the reverse lamps right here instead of right here i actually like i just like them right here because it gives you just that clean space right there also if you guys are in the market looking for it i made another video on that about every c owner must have this that was about you know the amg kit my car has the amg kit so at times it looks aggressive it looks not really like a 63 but it have all the lower body parts and most of you know the, the low fender the low sweeping grill you know everything that that makes it like extra so another thing you guys should know guys is that over time your lights are going to start hazing right here it's not really in here it's more just up here just look on the top still looks pretty darn good though just up the top just start fading right there that's another thing guys you should know to open the trunk there is a little latch it's just way under here i can't probably can't even get this on the film it's it's way under there but that's where it's at it's literally right on your on your left side right there and to open it you know when i first got this car i didn't know where the trunk was at it's like oh i wish it was a benz man out before i got this car i wish somebody would would have told me about it it's like the same thing with the bentley it's like i want a bentley but there's no one out there to really tell me why you know like why i should get one why i shouldn't like how i'm doing with this car so basically it's right here it's, you just hold it down it's pretty heavy guys and it's kind of like self-raising up Woo! So you don't need the AMG guys on this. You don't need to ride around with the AMG badge on the other side. Flip the hood. It's, it's a V8, guys. It's a V8 motor. So that's what you need to know, guys. So this is how it's laid out. I try to keep, I always keep the factory batteries OEM. I, keep, I try to keep my Mercedes as OEM as possible. Also, to close it, look at these. Look at these bearings. Look at this. This is because this car is so big. And this is what I do, guys. You just let it go down itself. Then I push right here in the middle. And now it's closed. So the seats, so right here to pull it up, you just latch that and it go up. It has a thing like most Mercedes have. So when someone's in the back, they got that extra, that extra space right there. And to put it back, same thing. You just grab it and it goes back into place. You got your memory seats, one, two, and three. Your lock and unlock button. And guys, this is one of my best features also on this car. I don't know if you guys could do this or if you guys knew this. I can control the passenger seat. Guys, I can control the passenger seat from the driver's seat sometimes. So if someone ever make you mad, that's what that's for on the memory. I didn't say what it was, but you just press it now i'm controlling the seat over here like that's all me from over here it's it's crazy guys it's yeah it's, it's crazy it's a lot of stuff you can play with you know sunroof standard just pull that back best part is you can have the sunroof open and you can have the vents open so if you don't want the light you can still get some air you got your navigation. Everything is on top. Everything is displayed from right here. You just push it up. Navigation, audio, telephone, video, vehicle. Guys, if you ever wonder how to put the sunshade back, a lot of people get in here and they don't know how to do it. I mean, yes, yeah, the sunshade in the back. So you go to vehicle and you just basically find it. A lot of people don't know where it's at, but you just basically, you, you just find it. It's in here. Extend it, press it. And it goes down. You want it back up, press it again. 
So remember guys, that's under vehicle. A lot of people don't know or wish they knew how to do that for when people are doing window tents. So I hope that added some value to you there. So guys, your service is right here. Just do it with the commands on the steering wheel. You just go over until you see it, until you see. You got your tire pressure. That's what you go to. Next service D. Ooh, what service D? 24 days, guys. I will keep you updated on that. I'm going to get my service done and my brakes and find out what's wrong with this darn CD player that's not playing. And so the lights are right there. You just keep it on automatic. They come on when it gets, you know, if you ever wonder where the night vision is, this is the night vision, but it won't come on. It won't display unless it's dark enough, unless the vehicle senses that it's dark enough to turn on. And the reason you're seeing 185 degrees, guys, I know if you're wondering, that's because of the car wrap. So that and the engine light is still on because it's a sensor that they have to put back into the front. You got a Harman Kardon sound system, which to be honest, my 2001 Lexus actually played louder and it was pretty, it was pretty better overall. But this is probably more clear. And one more, one more thing, guys, that you should know is that this car from in 2008 was a joint merger with Chrysler, Daimler Chrysler. So if you see Chrysler on your vehicle, don't freak out. It's not a freaking Chrysler. You still have a Mercedes. They just bond it for some parts and to be honest that's what i don't like is just oh, oh that's, I, I don't like that merger i i don't like it i oh man it ooh, ah and then it just made it made me go crazy to know that i but yeah guys so i hope that helped you guys this was just all basic stuff just basic stuff that every cl owner need to know it's all basic guys i got plenty of other videos showing everything else so that's why i only did some basic features that every CL owner must know because that's all the basic stuff to operate your car and one more thing guys i do want to show you that the mirrors will fold in automatically once you lock the door so just lock it and they fold in you know when you unlock it they fold out so signing off bands man